Hi everyone, it's Jamie from Storby here. Thanks so much for joining me on this video today to walk you through a Storby Young Enterprise Scheme website setup. Um, so I'm going to be walking you through our template site. This is probably fairly similar to what you will get started with on Storby. Um, first things first, I wanted to let you know how to get in touch with us if you ever run into any problems. There's two main ways you can go about this. The first is when you're logged into your website as an administrator. If you go to the top right corner here, there's the support site. Hopefully you can see my bright pink mouse. <laughs> um, if you click this little support button here, what that will do is that will take you to our support website, which you can see in front of us. Um, this is going to walk you through step-by-step -step tutorials and articles about how to set up certain features um, or troubleshoot some of the more um, simple issues that you might come up with on Storby. Um, the other way you can do this is the contact page on the support website or you can email us on support at storby.com and one of the team will get back to you um, pretty quickly. So uh, how to set up Storby. So this is um, in my website. I'm currently logged in as an administrator, which means I can see these options in the blue bar up here. Um, in the blue bar, I can see the manage tab, the edit tab, the preview and the view. Um, we'll jump into the manage tab first. This is your overall website settings. So where you're going to see things such as your products, any products you have loaded in here will be ready to go. You can see the orders, any orders made on Storby. You can go through the um, order fulfillment process through here, marking it as process, marking it as shipped, etc. You can jump into the insights tab. This might not work very well on this one just because it's a demo site. Oh, there we go. We're starting to get some. So things like product views, page views, um, top view pages and everything and your overall settings. So we'll jump back into here in a second. Um, next one is the edit tab. So think about the manage area as your background website settings and your edit tab as the front end um, content that your customers will see. So edit, we can see these gray bars along the top, um, as well as these little plus symbols and these bits of text and icons in the gray bars. So the gray bars indicate the area of content that you're editing. It's normally sitting underneath. The pluses are where you can add content in between those. So I can insert a content item here. If I click into that, we can see uh, the top ones are some of the more popular ones, but we can also add in a whole bunch of other ones here. And it's also where I can make changes to existing content. So say, as an example, this hero image, I wanted to change it. We've got some information on here about the size of the image that we recommend. This is our homepage. Um, so it's designed to give your customers a really quick, accurate first impression, um, wow them, but also direct them to where they need to go on the site. Canva.com is a really handy website for if you wanted to use some graphic design skills, have a little bit of a play there. Um, but say I wanted to change this hero image, I can click into the content settings and we can see it's a code free system. So if I jump into this, say I want to put up a photo of a puppy because I love puppies, <laughs> we can then change the effects of the hero image. We can change the text in there and go finish. So we can see that this change has been applied. What will happen when you've made a change on Storby is it will go into the preview mode. So this is where you can see uh, the change and what it's going to look like before you actually publish it. So just because you've made a change on the site doesn't mean it's live straight away and your customers can see it. If I go to view, we can see that the change isn't published, but we have this big red button. If I'm happy with the changes I've made, I can hit the green one and that's now live for my customers. So if you ever see the red change button up here, just be aware that there's something that you've done in the background that customers can't quite see yet. Let's jump through the home page. So we've got the hero image. We have the logo, uh, top level pages, which I'll go into more detail very shortly. 
we have a little bit of a blurb to sort of say, hey, this is who we are, this is what we're doing. Um, and we've also got a link gallery showcasing the, the same top level pages that are at the top of the site. Um, we've just put them further down. So if any customers or users are scrolling through, they don't have to go back up. It's nice and easy for them. You want to make sure this area is eye-catching. Customers get everything they need to know in one place. So things like your um, any social media icons, links um, about us, any quirky things can go up here. So let's go into the contact page. So I can click through here and I'm going to land on the contact page. Very key page, <laughs> a very simple one. So uh, make sure that you have your email address loaded in. You have your school address so people know where they can find you. Um, only add a phone number if you're comfortable sharing this online, bearing in mind that this will be out there for anyone to see and therefore give you a call. Um, so you're more than welcome to leave that off and just do the uh, email instead. Um, yeah, so that's everything you need on the contact page. Next is the About Us page. So this is your opportunity to say who you are and why you're doing what you're doing. Talk about your business vision and the values that you hold dear to your heart. Uh, mention that you are part of the Young Enterprise Scheme and the school that you go to. Um, you can go the extra mile and put little... Um, team member photos and blurbs and everything. So it's quite an important page. It's often the one of the highest visited pages after your homepage. So it's quite cool to be able to get that community connection out there and that baseline information for your users. Lastly, we have the shop. Um, this one again is pretty self-explanatory. It is the shop section <laughs> of your site. It's where your products are going to be. It is an easy one to um, get wrong, though, or make a few mistakes on. So we've included some key details along the top here. Uh, you have to remember that when you're shopping online, obviously, you can't pick a product up. You can't uh, see what it's like. You can't feel it. You can't tell what it's made of. So you have to include all that info for your customers. So as an example, we've got a T-shirt here. Some of the things as a customer I might like to see is a photo of the t-shirt, um, maybe some close-ups of any details on the shirt. What is it made of? What are the sizes? Um, how many am I buying? Is, is it a multi-pack? Am I going to be buying three in one? Um, all those sorts of things. If you're selling um, food, then making sure that the ingredients are in there, if you're selling something that might be quite heavy, uh, maybe including the weight. So just get as many um, details as you can about the product onto this page. Also making sure that you're using multiple high quality images. Um, blurry images aren't great. <laughs> no one really likes them on the site. So by bouncing between the edit and the preview modes up here, you can see what those are going to look like. What you're also going to need to do with your shop is set up the payment and the shipping options. So if I go into the manage area, and we go all the way down to the bottom to settings and across to e-commerce, we're gonna see two tabs here that are quite key. So uh, you can also do zero integration. If you have zero, you can include your account details. Um, again, if you go into the support area, there will be details about um, zero in here, setting them up. Where is it? There we go. So payment methods. Most of our Young Enterprise Scheme companies will choose the custom payment method down the bottom here, which is, will allow you to uh, set up bank deposits. So customers can pay, oh, the sun's come out, it's very bright suddenly. <laughs> customers can pay money direct into your bank account. So by setting that up down the bottom, it will allow, when customers place an order, they will get an email with instructions and details of how to transfer you that money. So then you can check that the money's appeared before you have shipped your product. The other thing you'll need to do is your shipping and delivery options. So this is up to you whether you want to offer a click and collect, if you want to do delivery only, if you're doing delivery, what are the different options? Are you shipping internationally? Does it cost more for rural delivery and everything? We can see that I've set up a delivery option here. So urban delivery, I can go in and I can edit this if I want. I can add other ones. I might choose as well to do rural delivery. 
uh, rural delivery might be more between, you know, two and seven days, um, and it's going to cost $8. So that's an example of how I might set that up. Hit finish, and then we can see that there's a change that needs to be published. So I will publish that, and that's now ready to go. That's the background of it. Um, if you wanted to add more pages, you can go into the edit mode, hit the little plus button, it will get you to set that up. You can change the order of them. Um, again, you've got the support site there and the quick links if you ever needed any help. Um, some other things to remember is the Yes Market. So this is where all the sites are going to come into one place. All this information is in iQualify, so you'll be able to find tutorials and videos about that through there, making sure that your Yes uh, website displays correctly in the market by doing four things. Um, so the first is a logo, a shop description, a shop category, and a region. You can do that through the settings. You can see the shop profile here. So watch the editing your shop profile and adding your store and region video on my qualify to find out how can be found on module four. Other than that, have heaps of fun getting your store B site set up. We look forward to seeing it live very, very shortly.